The inspiration for Holding in the Storm came to me from a documentary I worked on with Andrew Bloomfield and a group of other adults with autism who can't communicate with their voices. After working with this group called Bridges Over Barriers, I was deeply touched and I knew I had to help them be heard. What if you couldn't communicate? You had a lot to say, a lot to share, and a lot to give. Why? At least one in every 100 people of all ages are on the autism spectrum. Children who are diagnosed grow up to become adults with autism. I approached my longtime friend and writer, Deirdre Lindsay, who was thrilled to join me in writing and producing this film. Our main character, Matthew, has severe autism and can't speak. He expresses himself through his thought voice and we can feel the barriers this creates as he's approached by another character, Dave, who's just your average guy. Sometimes I observe my life, but I can't always control it. People have to guess what I want and need, and I do want and need. I wish I could just tell you. I bet you think I'm antisocial. And that couldn't be further from the truth. It is a terrible thing to be present and yet invisible. Matthew is witty and intelligent. He's happy and sad and frustrated and he's funny. Camera's rolling. In the film, he reveals many layers of his complex life. Action. Can you see my urges? I can't tell you. I show you. Have you figured out who I am? Open your minds to the possibilities. Our story focuses on social isolation and aims to break down barriers and encourage people to be more accepting. So just because a person can't speak doesn't mean they can't communicate. We're really grateful for the grants, donations, and in-kind support we've received so far. And um, you can be a part of our global message. We're launching our film in Guelph for World Autism Day, April 2nd, 2014.